everybody what's going on welcome back to another video i am actually a little bit embarrassed because i was 100 percent sure that i already reacted to this song without realizing that i actually confused it with the where are we now documentary that i reacted to ages ago on patreon and uh this intro is a bit of a patreon plug a shameless little plug because uh it seems as if i'm not reacting to mamamoo uh much nowadays uh on youtube and uh, i sometimes get get these comments like why aren't you reacting to any mamamoo stuff and i forget the fact that a lot of the reactions that i do have on mamamoo are not on youtube uh, we literally check out Mamamoo content every single week on Patreon. Uh, and unfortunately, there's a lot of music videos that I checked out that were associated with Mamamoo TV. I'm actually at season number seven, which is why I'm reacting to this song right now, because episodes 10 and 11 that I'm about to get into focus on where are we now. Last week, I reacted to episode 9, which included a whole bunch of Ween songs. And every time a Mamamoo TV episode is focusing on a music video by Mamamoo, I check out the music video first and then check out the episode. So a lot of my Mamamoo TV reactions are accompanied by music video reactions. So last week, we checked out Ween's uh, No Thanks, Springtime, and Butterfly as they were part of episode 9 of season 7 of Mamamoo TV. I also checked out Solar's uh, Love Has Gone, uh, her cover last week as well. There is literally <laughs> up to season seven. If you see a music video being mentioned in any of the episodes, I probably checked out the actual music video in that reaction. So there's plenty of extra Mamamoo music video reactions, as well as everything from season number one to seven of Mamamoo TV. I also just finished reacting to Three Meals a Day with Mamamoo, the Netflix documentary, of course, the Netflix series, their episode on take one. Uh, not too long ago, I reacted to a bunch of their live performances uh, on Mama. There's a bunch of reactions to their stuff with One Million, the studio. Uh, there is a few live performances. There's like their appearances on Human uh, Idol Theater. There's their appearance on uh, Look My Shoulder is Dislocated. There's a few episodes that I checked out of the Wasa show. There is uh, a little bit of Solar C. Doe as far as like her uh, involving other idols in like covers that they're due uh, of one another. Uh, so there is a ton of Mamamoo content, actually, a lot more than it is available here on YouTube. It's hard for me to actually pull those music video reactions out of the Patreon videos and put them on YouTube because the actual editing files are gone, or rather the original recording files are gone, because it takes a lot of space. Every time I finish a reaction, I export it and then delete the original recording file, because I already have too many hard drives, uh, and the quality on Patreon is a little bit lower than it is on YouTube. But with this reaction, uh, since we are gearing up towards checking out episodes 10 and 11 of Mamamoo TV Season 7, which will focus on where are we now? I thought, uh, why not react to the music video and share it on YouTube first? Um, and also we, you know, have the Moonview album coming up very, very soon. And I will be checking that out on YouTube, um, as well. So a whole bunch of extra content. If you guys are interested, check it out and, uh, let's get into this reaction. I'm <laughs> Damn. 
Solar's vocals are just crazy. And the huskiness of Ween underneath Wasa's vocals. Oh. Talking about where we going. I don't go. Nalder got you. Production. Holy shit. Oh my god. This is so magical. Some of the Wasa scenes honestly remind me a little bit of LMM. Um, damn, the moon, absolutely beautiful. Alone on that bridge as well as like the train tracks are underneath. No! Holy shit. Ooh. That is a magical looking visual. of the seasons and spring which is a big deal within Mamamoo as well oh. damn that was just fucking beautiful holy shit it was so magical and almost like cinematic Them eating ice cream is also so freaking cool because it like makes me think of another music video where they're like eating ice cream and are happy but then the next visual was them almost like dumbfounded looking at the camera as if they're like lost or something like that really really beautiful and uh you know um uh, yeah th this was absolutely beautiful this is definitely one of the most beautiful elegant and powerful songs by mamamoo we've checked out quite a decent amount when it comes to mamamoo and you guys know that they have a very special place for me literally <laughs> uh get better day by day is something that uh i almost immediately got tattooed the second i heard that phrase and reacted to that song and this song in contrast with their actual documentary which i believe was on netflix as well uh, i didn't watch it on netflix but I, I heard that somebody said that it will be on netflix but they literally talk about their fights their journey how hard it was to get to where we are how um how difficult of a journey like whether it's like the individual members or mama as a group uh they definitely had a very rough time we don't even have to talk about like the individuals like wasa and like her the 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 famous you know clip of the manager telling her that she's she's got a nice voice but she's not pretty enough and she was like i'm gonna be the new standard and all that kind of stuff and what she has kind of like become later on but as far as like the actual song goes uh a lot of people actually had to make 
it clear that Mamamoo actually confirmed they're not disbanding, everything is okay back then, even though a lot of people were making comments about it. But the song is a special song to the fans about their seven year journey in K-pop as Mamamoo, seven years back then, of course. Visually, it was incredible because it really symbolized Mamamoo separately as far as you know uh wasa almost kind of like channeling a bit of uh lmm or a little bit of like the maria character or let's call it like alter ego although that's not technically that but it, it definitely felt like a bit of uh not to some of her solo works and the bathtub and even like the white outfit in general you know moonbill being alone on that bridge which is underneath a train track literally if we google uh train tracks and what they symbolize but there's also like a bridge which is almost like a a, a double meaning because train tracks represent a journey or a transition it could symbolize or represent a physical journey such as a move to a new place or a trip or an emotional or spiritual journey such as personal growth or a new stage in life now in terms of what the bridge actually symbolizes in art it symbolizes a powerful connection and a symbol of hope as far as like building a bridge which is actually pretty cool in terms of like having the bridge on top of the train tracks in terms of what Mamamoo has gone through like there was like that there was a very dramatic moment in the actual documentary between if I'm not mistaken Moonbyul who was who was all, almost all, like on the verge of tears or actually crying we also have you know Ween and, and Moonbyul on like that van like that vehicle that literally represents a bit of a trip like a road trip this is usually what you would take to go on a trip a new journey and whatnot so even though we see them either in pair when it comes to ween and, and moonbill we also see them individually there's like the visuals of uh solar as well next to that we see all of them actually next to that vehicle to represent their journey as they continue that journey together which is pretty freaking cool as well uh i i think there was like a visual of wasa with what looked like a, a flower in her hand as she was in like that bathtub if i'm not mistaken but it was very very brief yeah she literally holds a flower and she puts it in the water uh if i'm not mistaken there's solar's uh visuals also in like that elegant black dress surrounded by mirrors like there which is also kind of like interesting in terms of like self-reflection potentially and what that could symbolize but like the beautiful thing uh, is that despite all of their hardships, they're in that vehicle actually together. And you have that little, um, it's not a guitar technically, uh, like a small version. I don't, we have that almost like a symbolism of like music that kept us together. There's like a crown as well, which is also pretty interesting. There's like a suitcase that Ween is literally sitting on to represent the fact that new beginnings, which would kind of make sense because Ween literally left uh after she left the rbw company but still maintain her position within mamamoo wasa is no longer part of rbw but still maintains a position within mamamoo um i think there's even like uh what looks like high heels next to wasa which could symbol and they're colored red which kind of like makes me think of her like iconic outfit uh on mama if i'm not mistaken which was again criticized very heavily by people that have nothing better to do and then it kind of like became fucking iconic and whatnot so even though there's actually some really cool symbolisms in this one shot so even though we all go through like hardships Every, everything we went through together was like a wonderful drama and in every drama or k-drama there's ups and there's downs you wouldn't appreciate the ups if you didn't have any downs as well so we are that strong because we actually fought tooth the nail we fought against each other because we love each other so much we stay together we literally says uh like breathing is it was so natural then they come to the, like this forest we cross so many seasons after i met you which could be like a, a beautiful little nod to the fans as you know the comment that i read did mention the fact that this is a song for the fans as well as for mama with themselves uh as far as like all of the impact that the fandom has done for them and the fact that 
we cross so many seasons, like all the years that went by and you still stuck by us and you kept on supporting us. But like the beautiful thing is that at the end, they end up together and you have all these bright lights and like that drone shot in a way, what looks like a drone shot was really, really uh, beautiful. Like that top down uh, angle was absolutely incredible, incredibly cinematic. It's almost like no matter how far we get, we will always kind of like be uh, together in a way. The fact that they all come together at the end is just fucking beautiful. And it's a beautiful symbolism of the fact that Mamamoo will always be Mamamoo. And this song was never meant to be a song that was a disbandment song. It was a song that meant to showcase that we've been through so much shit. And we might have even like fought each other and even hated each other for periods of time. But at the end, nothing will change the fact that we... Uh, love each other more than the obstacles that were in between us Uh, because every healthy relationship actually will have uh, an element of of drama and there there's no such thing as like a perfect relationship with no one fights so you wouldn't expect that but whenever somebody hears about like something that happened it's so easy to take shit out of context and you know just basically make assumptions and be like well this is mamamoo's last song see ya thank you for everything it's just a realistic expression of mamamoo's journey and their love towards each other despite the darkness and the obstacles that they've been through and like the shot with the ice cream is just incredibly iconic to me it's iconic because of the way it makes me think about wind flower and like them eating that same ice cream but then being so out of it mentally like they're here they're happy it's really really beautiful Uh, i'm not sure if they're supposed to be connected but like i will take it as a connection and overall this was an absolutely incredible song and it sounds like a movie soundtrack honestly it, it it sounds like some kind of a fucking epic titanic-esque kind of movie soundtrack to be honest and i'm actually quite blown away by the fact that the music video has like 15 million views if i'm not mistaken which is just fucking bonkers for how good that song is it's a ballad not many people will be as into it as into something like hip i guess but at the same time this is definitely a jam within the Mamamoo discography and I'm so happy that I finally got to react to it because I was 100% sure that I already did uh so yeah uh this was awesome I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction if you did and if I made any sense let me know in the comment section down below and I'll catch you all in the next one be well and safe wherever you are and if you're interested again in some extra a lot of extra Mamamoo content check out the Patreon and I will catch you all in the next one be well and safe wherever you are see you